late and stepping up to the starting line. Wearing the Be Your Own Hero shirt, Jesse Graff shirt. Yeah, rocking the Jesse Graff shirt, maybe trying to get a little bit of extra power. Yeah. Oh, that second step moved on her a little bit. Okay, and she's through. That was a little scary on the first obstacle. I like how she ran to that next obstacle, just kind of saving time in between obstacles. I'll see, you know, we'll see if that continues, you know, moving efficiently between obstacles. But honestly, on a course like this, just transitioning to the next obstacle will save you some time. Yeah, exactly. And right now on the women's side is we only have two women past the log dash. So it might end up being a race to that obstacle. Wow, that was a great save. That was a great save. <laughs> <laughs> Those nunchucks are not easy to hold on to with one hand, so. And clear with under a minute. Like you said, I think those transitions and you see her moving, getting here quickly, uh, those transitions saving time. It adds up. You know, we got so many obstacles here. Let's say you have a course with 10 obstacles and you save two or three seconds in between each one. You're talking about 30 seconds total, which is an eternity in Ninja. Yeah, absolutely. She's wedging herself into that window there. Mm -hmm. And using that back foot in the window to help get that second hold hooked on. Yeah, I really like this. And I mean, she's making really good time so far on this course. Let's see if she can make the dismount. She's got it. She's got it. And I think I was, I was starting to say it earlier, I love seeing that there's so many competitors and, you know, Spectre's still hanging out and watching this late in the course. And people are really excited to see what Mary can do. I'm trying to think about what she wants to do here. Yeah, this one is intimidating. Oh, no. You know, another part that we haven't talked about with this obstacle is you're on the course and... You're also nervous, and you need to really dial in your nerves here because this is a very controlled move. Mm -hmm. I call it Elvis leg. You're up there, your legs start shaking <laughs> a little bit. It's happened to me, and this is an obstacle I think would do it to you. Absolutely. Tony's saying she's good. I think she's close enough to dismount here. All right. She's got it. So now onto the log dash. We've only seen two women get past this so far. Mm-hmm. And the key to this obstacle is really the commitment and also staying on top of your feet. Yep. I mean, there's so many factors here. Staying on top of your feet, feet staying centered, light feet. And she's wow. got it. Another woman passed the log dash. With a skip too. Yeah, didn't even use all of them. And I like, I like skipping the second to last one just because your momentum will hopefully carry you to that landing platform. You know, if, as long as you get your foot on that last step, it'll just, everything will carry you over. Right, and those last three steps kind of go right and then to the left and to the right again. So skipping it keeps you in line. Now we got a big reach up to this cliffhanger. She's looking. I don't like how her right hand is below. Yeah, I'd like to see her hands switched a little bit. She's got to uh -oh. generate some power here. Come on, use those hips. Ah. Uh.